Hey everybody, Wendy Clanky with Blue Cat Studio. Welcome to day 17 of the Advent Ornament Challenge. Boy, we are really making some progress. We only have eight days to go after this. Well, nine, because I owe you guys uh, the 12th, but we'll get there. Anyway, let's go ahead and paint this cute little Santa here. And we're, I'm going to teach you how to freehand it. So tape your ornament down to an easy to move surface. You'll thank me later, I promise. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of sketch a small circle in the middle or oval, right? That's his nose. And then we're going to get him a little, cut some little curves out here to create his mustache. So think of it as like little raindrops. Doesn't have to be perfect at all or teardrops, teardrops, whatever it is. Okay. And then we'll kind of, here, we'll, we'll give him some shoulders coming out from here, either side. And then we'll give him a little beard. I don't know, something like so. Maybe made his mustache a little bit, a little extra, but that's okay. So we'll draw maybe some gentle things for his cheeks and then like a little frowny face, a frowny for his eyes. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Sorry, I had a little off there. Okay, we'll just do like a little little arc right here, kind of almost the, the base of it, almost in alignment with the top of the nose there. Just a little upside down smile. Okay, I think his mustache is too, whatever, we'll figure it out. We can always make things up as we go. Now we're going to go ahead and get a hat on him. So we're going to kind of do a little diagonal line out right next to his eyes. And then kind of make another another one that's not quite parallel, but arching. We'll just kind of bring it around like this, kind of right at his brow line. And we'll bring some more kind of up here. I might have drawn this too big, but that's okay. We'll just kind of do the hat kind of up like so. That looks really weird. What did I do wrong? <laughs> oh, you guys, I just freehand. But you know, this is what happens when you try to freehand stuff. Sometimes your brain's like, oh, yeah, we got this thing. And they're like, oh, no, we don't. I'm going to make his beard wider, too. That makes a little bit more sense. And then we'll just kind of drop down a little thing here and a big old poofy ball for his thing. Why oh, he looks all weird. How did I get that so messed up, you guys? <laughs> Oh, bear with me. There we go. We'll just bring the eyes in a little bit closer. Yeah. Let me get thicken that up. All right. That's good enough. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're here to just have fun. So to get us started, we're going to get the beard taken care of because it's the lightest. So we're going to grab a little kiss of this blue and place it in the middle of our palette. Now, usually I, uh, I just use a styrofoam thing, but I just found these guys and I thought, you know, why not? Lighten it a little bit more. So this is a Laguna. No, no, it's not Laguna. Sorry. It's Bahama blue. And then just a basic white. Here's a, here's the big bottle. Not quite mega, but it's big. Titanium white. I always like titanium because titanium tends to come. It's a mineral pigment and it tends to be real thick and get great coverage. All right. So we're going to just kind of blue in anything that's supposed to be white with a very pale blue, which of course I realize seems strange, but we will go ahead and tweak it after that. But we're getting, we're laying in our base tones, base notes. Now, if you can do a better job freehand in this, by all means. My first round, I did great. I don't know, maybe I'm just trying to like go quickly and be efficient here and I didn't take time to really get it right. I'm gonna go a little darker right around the edge of his beard. And kind of right under the mustache area. There we go. A little bit darker. Don't worry. It's not what color it's going to be when we're done. And we'll sort of blue up that a bit as well. Offload a little bit of that paint just so I have less on my bristles. And then I'm going to grab some straight up pure white. Just kind of work it into his beard. Again, this is, we're not done. Just getting some, getting some tone there so we can see it. And so it stands out. And just around the hat a little bit more. Okay, so that's our that's kind of our base coat. And just a little bit more on this. And we'll give him a collar and all that stuff, but we have we got a couple other things we want to do first. I really do feel like I kind of made this whole guy a little bit too wide. Let me see if I can rein him in just a little bit. Okay. Right. 
we'll get there. So go ahead and offload any extra paint, rinse it in your water cup. And if you have a dryer, it's a great time to give it a quick dry. Now, if, if you, for the first round of this, you want to just watch and then come back and do it later. The replay, of course, is always, always, always available. And there'll be the ample opportunity to hit pause if you need to, I don't want to say catch up, but if you need a little bit more time to get stuff, stuff done. Okay, so now we're going to work on this on the skin tone here. So I'm going to mix kind of a peachy color. So I'll grab a little bit of red. That's the Tuscan red. That's probably more red than I need. I still have a lot on my brush, so I'm going to wipe it off on a piece of paper. Just out of the way, junk mail. Grab some yellow, mix it in. So we've kind of got an we've got an orange forming here. Not exactly skin a skin tone, but we're getting there. Maybe a touch more orange or yellow. Sorry, a touch more yellow. Then we're going to add some white to it and bring that down to kind of a. That's still a little, still a little dark. A little bit more white in here. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Uh, you can kind of look at that and be like, yeah, that works as a skin tone, or gee, that's a little bit too orange. We can always tweak it later. So we'll come in here and we'll just kind of go right over his little nose circle. Now, if you would prefer a skin tone that's a little different, if it you know doesn't quite match yours and you'd like to shift it, by all means, go for it. If um, I went with very simple colors in this color palette, but if you actually have, you know, some skin tone paints and some beautiful browns where you can really kind of mess with and tweak your colors to get them where you want, by all means, go for it. Okay, so now we're going to grab a little bit more of that red. I'm going to kind of go easy, but I'm going to mix some in to a corner of my skin tone. Now I'm making just a really, sort of the smallest mix possible, like just little kisses of paint because this is a tiny, tiny canvas, right? Well, it's not even canvas, it's a little wooden ornament. All right, so now we've got that pinkish tone mixed. Add a little bit more white. Now notice I kind of pulled it away from the main bit because I just wanted to kind of mix it down. And that's more than enough. A lot of mixing, but it needs to happen. So we're gonna create kind of a round curve along the top of his nose and a round curve of that pinkish tone right where his cheeks are to give him kind of rosy cheeks. So the top of the circle for his nose and his little rosy cheeks right there. And maybe we can grab just a pinch more red. So I'm grabbing the red and so this is the what was left behind him. Didn't rinse my brush, just kind of pulling it and working it into the bristles to kind of get a little tiny bit of pink to add some more. There we go. So there's a little bit of the lighter pink mixed pink underneath. And then this darker, more intense pink. Oop, okay, now he's got a really bright nose, so that's okay. So that's a good start if you wanna offload the paint, which means just you know wipe it off on a piece of paper. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some red right here and we're gonna end a little bit of green, just a pinch. We're gonna kind of mix a purpley tone. Isn't that weird? That green and red kind of made purple. And that's just because I think the red was a little bit dominant in that mix. And we're gonna, I'm gonna rotate this guy, come right in on the lower portion of that nose to kind of create a uh, little shadow under his nose. There we go. You know, so I didn't really talk much about the brushes I'm using. I'm using a small flat brush. It's probably an eighth of an inch. If you feel more comfortable with a round brush, by all means. Um, so I know sometimes my preferences are odd. So I have a little bit of that sort of peachy skin tone left. So without rinsing my brush, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that peachy skin tone and kind of work it into what's left on my brush. Maybe just a little bit more. So it creates a lighter shade that I can just kind of create a kind of come in right right on top or right over just to create a better border. So we have some shading and it's, I don't want it to be like way, you know, in your face there. Okay, very good. Offload your brush, give it a quick rinse. So we've got some skin in there. We'll get more details on his face in a little while when we transition to the, um, 
the skinny brush, the, the skinny brush, the liner brush. So you're going to need like a nice fine liner in a little while. Not right now, but you will. But you will. Okay, so let's do a green background first, then we'll do Santa, his, his red, right? Because green is, if I, if I accidentally nick the red with the green, if I put the red down first, um, a red's going to turn, or the green's going to turn all kinds of crazy colors. But the red is so intense. So this is a festive green from DecoArt Americana. I'm just kind of coming around, just basically outlining everything that's not Santa's outfit. Best of green is so pretty. Now, once we get kind of done, you can look at this green and be like, yeah, that works for me. Or hmm, that's not quite right with my personal sense of aesthetic. So I don't know if you can see the difference between these two. This one's a little bit yellower. It's festive green um, at the base. And then I kind of took a festive green and yellow. And this is just my test piece to make sure I know what I'm going for here. I used a little yellow green that I just mixed um, to kind of lighten it up. If you like the festive green or whatever green you happen to grab um, and it's perfect the way it is, then leave it. If you find that you want to tweak it a little, you can. I found that just warming it up a little in comparison to the red that we're going to use, which of course is the Tuscan red, it just kind of, I felt like it gave it a little extra of that pop power. And we always like it when things pop a little bit. That's why I sometimes when I get desperate, I break out some fluorescent colors because fluorescent colors can't help but pop. All right. Now I'm going to take a risk here. Don't do, don't do this yet. Just let me see if this works. I want to put just a tiny kiss of green right under his nose. All right. It's not really showing much. It just adds a little bit of shadow because red and green are opposite colors, right? Um, oh, hey, there's Rosemary. She says, so cute. Hoping to do this over break. Okay. So you got to tell me when's your break. Do you get to take like between Christmas and New Year's off or what? Because that's when my break is. I'm so excited. Originally, I wasn't planning on taking any vacation time or very minimal vacation or like half days. And, you know, I was exhausted. And, all right, here we go. Holidays, they put a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure on you guys. So if you ever get a chance to have a little downtime, take it. I figured I could spend time with my kids, do a little art, do a lot of art, all the things. All right, now we're going to grab some Tuscan Red, which is, of course, this guy right here. It's a lovely, deep red. It's got slight blue tones. This green also, while it's a fairly warm green, it, it, still, it still projects a lot, of, a lot of blue, so to speak. Oh, look at that beautiful Santa Red. Oh, my goodness. I'm thinking after this, I'm going to go sit down and watch a Christmas movie. I'm, so, guys, I could really use a suggestion. Anybody have any um, ideas about what Christmas movie I should watch after this? Like, just don't say Die Hard. I'm not really in the mood for that today. I want something light and fluffy. Just getting a little red outfit. All done up. And of course we did the blue and we did the beard first so that if I needed to tweak it a little bit, make some minor changes. So I'm going to kind of come up here a little bit underneath and push it just a little shallower. His beard was a bit too big. This red has beautiful, beautiful coverage, especially when it comes to working with lighter colors. And we'll come up here and get his hat. And I'm also going to just kind of bust right over that line there because, yeah. So there's a little bit of a dark zone there. I can tweak it if I need to. It just looks like a shadow. But if that really starts to bug, I can always add just a little touch of white to kind of lighten up the base and then come back over it. Work just a little bit more of that red in over top. 
Not really, you're just making a big gooky mess. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll give it a quick blast, of course. And while you're here, go ahead and offload your brush, which of course means wipe it on a piece of, you know, junk mail or scratch paper, or whatever you kind of have floating around. And while I'm doing that and rinsing my brush, of course I'm drying, drying Mr. Santa here. And then I'm drying my brush. And let's, um, we're gonna grab some pure white and start modifying. So first and foremost, Santa here, I think needs a collar. So I'm gonna just grab some of that straight white. It's not mixed with anything. I'm just gonna kind of come out here on either side of his beard, just kind of come right down the middle to give him that big fluffy collar. And notice I'm sort of dabbing just up and down, up and down, up and down with my brush and my paint. Just blop, 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 blop. Blopping is good. You blop, I blop, we blop, we all blop, something. And so I know his beard is still very blue. We're going to make it a little less blue in a second. We're getting there. All right, so that's our first, our first, um, our first round of, of blopping. We will come back to it. It needs a minute to dry. But since I'm here, I'm going to also blop a little bit over his tassel or his whatever that is, the poof. And then we'll blop a bit over his hat. Might leave a little bit of the bluish tone right along the forehead line, right along the brow line. So maybe, you know, concentrate your blopping at the top of the hat versus at the bottom of the hat. So you can do a little bit of it. So what other ridiculous technical terms can we come up with? Blop is, our, is, is definitely the one today. So I'm going to bring a little bit down here, but I want that blue to be showing a little. I might kind of have some of it kind of create sort of a fluffy look around his forehead. All right, and now we'll come in and work on his whiskers. So I'm kind of just coming in and bringing some, some swoosh power. A little bit around the here. So we're gonna leave a little bit of that dark of that blue directly under his mustache. The idea being that it's casting a little bit of a shadow and it helps differentiate. So we just use kind of little visual tricks like that. Excuse me, techniques, they're not tricks, techniques um, to allow us to have almost white on white, but still be able to see the difference. And we'll Blop in a little bit more on Santa's thing. Yeah, a little bit here. Blop, blop. Make it happen. Blop it out. And I would like a little bit more white blopped on his hat, too. So between the hat and the beard or the whiskers, we're going to keep the whiskers a little bit bluer. I think it's definitely a far cry better than a slightly yellowed beard, right? So we chose blue to kind of shift it and keep it slightly separate. You could also do gray if you wanted. But I like the little bit of a blue tone. Kind of makes him look icy. And we could put a few more. Actually, we'll use a smaller brush to get to that next bit. So I think that is pretty much it for the large brush. I'm going to, um, of course, wipe it off. And then see how, how clean my bristles are? Now I'm going to rinse it. Oh, and while I'm doing that, we're, of course, going to give this guy a little blast, help some of that white get dry. And now's the time that we plan to transition to our liner brush. So a liner brush, of course, is always something that's going to have really long, narrow, slim, whatever it is, bristles. It's going to allow you to kind of have, like, the ultimate control in terms of where you put the paint and where you don't put the paint. So sometimes if my bristles are starting to splay and it's a clean brush, I hate to admit it because y'all can't see it. I stick it in my mouth to, to bring it to a point. Once you've got paint on, obviously you can't do that. So we'll begin with some white. I just kind of dip it right there on the tip if you can see. And I'm going to rotate this guy and add a little bit of a kind of a just some highlighty lines right along the top of his hat. 
a little bit on his shoulders. And then we need to give his nose a little highlight, so a little upside down smile. And I do it just a tiny bit inside the circle. So there's a little bit of that pink from the top of his nose right above that highlight. I'm gonna go a little lighter, but I'm gonna give him just kind of like a little highlight on his cheeks. And then kind of little highlights right up here where his eyebrows might be. In fact, those might even end up being eyebrows. But kind of keep them like this, like boom and boom, because that kind of is the open, oh, you can't really see that, kind of an opie, open, happy expression. If you bring the eyebrows all the way down and then bring them, you know, swooping towards the nose, then it starts to get to be an angry look. So happy is kind of open, open eyebrows like so. Sad or mad is kind of eyebrows down like so. I hope that makes sense. That's my little trick. And since we're here with the white, going to add a little bit more detail to the to the beard. We kind of just want to add some swooshy lines that make it look like Santa is well groomed and maybe even use his special beard goo because he's fancy. I don't know. <laughs> you guys save me. I always get, say the weird thing sometime by accident. I'll just get, get on a roll. All right. And then we're going to have a little bit of extra emphasis on the top of his, the upper portion of his whiskers right along that edge. Give it a little bit more swoosh factor. You might be able to do one like or two in the middle here. Again, still maintaining that little shadow of blue underneath. Actually, we've got so much shadow of blue. I think I'll bring a little bit of this down here to just kind of modulate it a little bit. Okay. I think that's getting us pretty, pretty there in terms of what with the white. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and offload this guy. So when you're using, so I'm just gently twisting it along a piece of paper. When you're rinsing something like this, don't jam it, the bristles down into the bottom of your water cup. Kind of hold it up high and swoosh it back and forth. A lot of swish, swish, swish. Because when it's that thin, it actually rinses itself pretty well. And then, of course, twist, twist it gently in the on its side on the, um, in your towel. Okay. We're solidly, we're solidly, whatever it is, what it is. Thus it's dry. There we go. Now to grab some black and here's where we have to just be kind of gentle. Black can be a pretty, pretty significant and intense color, but we need to first and foremost, get some eyes in here. So just kind of right in between everything. We'll do just a little tiny arch for his eyes, make him look happy. Now he's got eyes. You see how that we now end up with little eyebrows and a little glow on his cheeks and his eyes. And yeah, oh, I kind of don't want to. Well, let's see. We'll do his whiskers. We'll give his whiskers a little, little line here. Just a little something. Yeah, he's a very dapper Santa. Oh, beard wax. That's the stuff, right? Whoop. All right. So that got a little thick on this one whisker over here. I think we'd still pull it off. And if I just, if it's too much, I can always come back once it's dry. All right. Now, just for giggles, we're going to kind of add a little, oh, I'm sorry, you can't see. I'm going to try and do this at an angle. Keep my hand out of the way and just kind of wiggle the, wiggle the pen, not the pen, but the, the brush along. Just kind of adding a little bit of fluff, a little outline. And this helps compensate for, you know, if our colors are too, too close in value. Although that red is a pretty deep color and the green is, is definitely lighter. But we'll get a nice outline along the hat. And if you have not invested in some awesome liner brushes, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. They're really kind of magical. All right, now we want the hat to kind of come up like... Is that how we wanted it? Yeah. So you kind of want to be able to see that fold there of where the, the tail just sort of folds right over on the, right over on the, um, on the hat. And then there's a little poof. We can kind of do some, some wiggle waggle. 
keep it light. You know, it doesn't have to be a totally solid line for the poof. And we'll come in and do his beard. And here's where you can kind of have some soft flowing swooshy lines. For Dapper Santa. And, yep. So you notice how I'm really ensuring that these lines are nice and curved. Whoop. And again, sometimes I press down a little too hard and it gets a little thicker. But still, I can more or less get away with that. I can have a couple of pieces going off in multiple directions. A little bit like so, maybe a swoosh this way and a swoosh that way. And then if you want, you can even add a couple of little, let's see, get enough ink on this. Well, it's not ink, it's but a couple of little dots in like twos and threes kind of along his mustache. Okay, um, I'm gonna do a small outline on his nose. There we are. So I'm trying to keep it extra light and maybe not as solid as one would have um, on some of the other outlines, but I felt that it just needed a touch of I mean, yeah, a touch of a touch of outline, and it will just kind of keep it consistent with the rest, with the look and feel of the rest of it. So while we're here, we'll get a little, little outline on each of his shoulders, and we'll just kind of jiggle, jaggle, wiggle, waggle the rough of his coat, a kind of rough, kind of like a, kind of like a dog, right? Only not. A little bit here. And so you kind of have this funny in between where you've got like the beard all all smooth and and groomed and then you have kind of this fluffy fluffy coat. Oh, hey, look. We're done. That that went really fast. <laughs> cool. Well, so there you have it. Here was my original sketch. You know, it started off this guy started off a little wonky, but we just kind of we kind of pulled it together um so, you know, instead of, you know, throwing in the towel and being frustrated, we just tweaked it while we were here and pretty much brought it back together. So anyways, if you're interested in doing more of these with me, um, I have so far created 16 designs. Um, we skipped December 12th uh, because we had a sort of a family emergency, uh, but I will be making that up to you guys at some point um, when I get a little bit of downtime. And so you can just use the hashtag Advent Ornament Challenge to look up on Facebook or in this group more and you can find them. So if you do this, or I should say when you do this, please, please, please use hashtag advent ornament challenge so that when we go look on Facebook, we can find your stuff. And I absolutely love to see your work. So do post it. Have a great night and great weekend. And we'll see you. Well, I guess tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day, etc. All the way through Christmas. Bye guys. Love you much.